person there's almost a 99.9 percent .9 chance that you don't even check on your own privilege let's talk about this <laughs> Okay, what do I mean by this? What do I simply mean? I mean that when you are living comfortably, when you have your own thing going on, when you are, when you have both parents, you're raised in a good home, that sort of a thing, you can never understand the struggle of a child who never grew up with those things. Or if you grew up fed, nourished and all of those things you grew up with food you can never understand somebody who is hungry if you have the education and the privilege to go to school you can never understand somebody who is not educated to your level of standard for some reason we live in a society that expects people to be boxed and if they're not they are blamed they are shamed and they are to be responsible for their action and therefore they are lazy and less ambitious that's what why that what the system does that we live in it makes us blame the people instead of the actual system that causes these problems so in this case when it comes to makeup i'm not a makeup person the only thing i can do guys I'm even showing my bare face, my bare face and my, you know, my pimples and, you know, I'm showing, I did a little bit of this and this and a little bit of hair. Naturally, I would have short hair, but that, that's beside the, the point. And lipstick. So what I'm reacting to is a video of a woman saying that she does not like the blush you know i don't use blush i don't know how they use it i don't know makeup guys my thing is we're talking about privilege remember that this woman does not see her privilege because the blush in itself was made for disabled people made it easy and accessible she's not used to that she's always been accustomed especially the fact that she's a white woman black people black women need to be included in the makeup industry we are still trying to get into it to be included so that we can have a variety of skin tones and a person like that cannot understand a darker skinned person what they go through and having to use lighter shade when it does not even match their skin but anyways enough member let's just get into the video okay See you in my next one. Here's some beauty products I would not repurchase, even though I love them because their packaging really sucks. I hate to say it, I know everyone raves about this. I hate this packaging. I feel like the blush gets everywhere. Every time I take it out, did you see that? Like a bit, oh, it just did it again. A bit of blush always leaks somewhere on my clothes, on my outfit, on my hands. The product applicator has literally like mountains of product on it. Rare Beauty blush, I love the color, I love the lasting power, but it freaking goes everywhere every time I use it. Next up is this By Terry Concealer, which is amazing, but look at this packaging. Every single one I have, like the packaging is dire. Look at that, it leaks everywhere. This bit of it breaks, so every time you take off the lid, like the packaging part actually, the concealer part like comes out. The brush like frays from the lid. Oh, it's so bad, the packaging is terrible but the product's amazing. I'm not a fan of loose powders, but this loose powder, oh my gosh, you want to make a mess? Like, I'm so lucky the floor in here is not carpet because this, go, you need to like freaking prepare for launch. Yeah, there you go. Prepare for takeoff with this. This is a Huda Beauty loose powder. It's so great, but look, how am I supposed to get a good amount of powder in there? It just goes everywhere. Milk Makeup is another culprit. I don't love their packaging. This is just like a bit too dinky. It also just goes everywhere and gets really, really messy. You know, everyone loves these Refi lip liners, but you twist this up, but you can't twist it down. So you have to be so careful with how much you twist it up, and then it all hangs out in the lip and like goes everywhere and you end up wasting so much product because you can't twist the twist back down that it just all ends up in that lid. 
shame. This eyeliner is probably one of the best eyeliners I've ever used. It's the Benefit Roller Liner. It's the blackest, thickest liquid liner. But why, Benefit, why does this lid not click? It doesn't click, it just hangs. It just hangs out. Why are you yelling and being so ag aggressive? I'm confused. Anywho, I just want to jump in here as a short arm person who uses makeup, specifically this blush. I recently discovered that Rare Beauty designed their packaging specifically with people with disabilities in mind to be more inclusive. Because I can't tell you how many times I bought makeup, got it home, and then couldn't open it. So when I bought this one, I was like, oh wow, look at this little circle thing here. Cool. And my little hand that has no strength in it, I was able to turn it. And then I opened it. And then put the blush on my face. Holy moly. Look what the world is when we're more inclusive for everybody to use it. So thank you to Rare Beauty for allowing me to open this with my teeny tiny little hands. I really appreciate it. girl just calm down okay just relax everything's gonna be okay if you just shh, it's okay yeah, I also had an issue with my uh, rare beauty blush um, packaging I ran it my makeup bag over with a bicycle and I didn't have the lid all the way so it went everywhere but I will say it didn't break and it's still totally intact and totally usable it just has to live here because it does kind of get everywhere because I ran it over with my bike so I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna until the wheels fall off because it was expensive and it's the best blush out there so um, 10 out of 10 packaging durability wise I will say um, that's it I know I'm a little late to respond to this, but I have some opinions. This is my Rare Beauty blush collection, and I've never once had the blush fling out of the packaging because I took it out too quickly. And if you do go watch her video, I'm not trying to be mean, but she takes it out and it comes out very clean, and then she, like, yanks it out, and then that's when blush flies everywhere. With any packaging like this, of course that's gonna happen. Have you ever opened a lip gloss too quickly? Yes, it can fly everywhere. This is how you're supposed to open it, not like this. And that wasn't even that messy. Also, I know she didn't mean it like this, but it was a little tone deaf to critique the packaging like this when it was literally meant for people with disabilities to open it easier. Also, side note, I see the little heart everyone's talking about. I just feel like so often people complain just to complain and they want to like not be like other girls, you know, like, oh, everyone loves a rare beauty blush. I hate it for this reason. I just feel like it's unnecessary hate and I'm kind of tired of it. Girl, I think you are very much the only person on earth who has this issue. Like, like, I've literally owned my blush for over a year and a half, and I've never once had it splash on my fingers or anywhere else for that matter. And you know what you do when there's mountains of product on it? You wipe it off like you would any lipstick or lip gloss. What? I hate this packaging. I feel like the blush gets everywhere. Every time I take it out, did you see that? Like a bit- Oh! 
I mean, if you're going hard, obviously, it's gonna... Hold on. Okay, see, this one didn't even... So let's see. It, it should be fine. Hold on, let's see. Because I think it's also she tilted. Let's see. It's, it's fine. Watching this video trying not to cry because it just sucks that a brand can be forthcoming and say, hey, we are going to make our products accessible for individuals with disabilities. And then an influencer gets on and say, oh my gosh, I just hate the packaging. Like, what a privilege it is for you to be able to say you hate the package because it's not aesthetically pleasing or you don't find it useful when something has just been made accessible for something like me. Like, you always had the option to use it, whereas individuals like me, we didn't always have the option to be able to use things. So, on behalf of individuals with disabilities that wasn't cool please be more aware please be kind and please think about the things that you say are trash because what's trash for you has just been made accessible for someone like me thanks